This video tutorial uses the classic example of the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase, TIM, to cover the following aspects. How to load a system, edit, reduce the number of atoms, energy minimization, selection of a QC region, and the scan of the first step of the catalytic cycle. We will use a system that has been previously built using the Amber Tools suite. To import the topology and coordinate files, simply click on the first icon in the toolbar of the main window. Select the Amber format and load the topology and coordinate files of the TIM system. Customize the system name and assign a reference color of your choice. Very good. Since our goal is to model the reaction catalyzed by this enzyme using hybrid QC slash MM potentials, we will begin by reducing the system using spherical selections. Identify the substrate in the active site. You can easily do this by inspecting the sequence at the bottom of the main window and clicking the special character percent sign. With the selection active, right-click on the GL area to access the selection menu and choose the Extend Selection option. We will perform an expand type selection using the by residue criterion. The radius distance parameter should be set to 22 angstroms. Now, with the selection still active, right-click again, access the selection menu and choose Prune to Selection. Set the new name, tag, and reference color, and click Prune it. This will generate a new system containing only the selected atoms. We still need to fix the atoms in the outer region of the system. To do this, select the substrate and access the Extend Selection tool again. Ensure that only atoms from the new system are selected. In this case, we will use a by complement type selection with the by residue criterion. Set the radius distance parameter to 15 angstroms. Now, with the selection active, right click once more, access the selection menu, and choose set as fixed atoms. If everything was done correctly, Easy Hybrid will display the fixed atoms in gray. Before starting our QC slash MM simulations, let's subject the system to a few relaxation steps using only the force field. Click on the blue Geometry Optimization button in the toolbar of the main window, or access it via the Simulate option in the main menu. We will perform only 200 iterations. Click Run and wait a few seconds. Once complete, a new structure will be generated. Excellent. Now let's define a QC region for our system. Select the substrate and the catalytic residues. His 64 and glue 164 as shown in the video, or use the sequence displayed at the bottom of the main window as a guide. With the selection active, right click on GL area again. Access the selection menu and choose set as QC atoms. Our system will have 47 atoms, a total charge of negative 3 and multiplicity equal to 1. For this tutorial, we will use the classical semi-empirical method AM1. Click OK. If everything worked correctly, Easy Hybrid will display the atoms of the QC region in ball and stick representation. From this point on, any procedure applied to this system will use a hybrid QCMM potential. Very good. Let's submit the system to one more relaxation cycle. Click again on the blue Geometry Optimization button in the toolbar. This time, we will apply 600 iterations using the conjugate gradient method. This process should take a few minutes. Excellent. Now we are ready to model the first step of the catalytic reaction. To do so, we will perform a relaxed reaction coordinate scan. Click the green Reaction Coordinate Scans button in the main toolbar or access it via the Simulate option in the main menu. 
In this case, we will scan a coordinate using multiple distance, which means the coordinate is defined by the combination of two distances. To select the atoms of interest, change to Picking Selection Mode by clicking the Selection Mode button on the main window's toolbar. Now select the atoms, C02, H02 and OE2 in this order, as shown in the video, and click Import from Picking Selection. We will scan the reaction coordinate in 15 steps, applying a maximum of 6,000 iterations per step. Make sure you have write permission in the working directory. If not, select another folder, All Set. Click Run and wait a few minutes. Once finished, a new structure will be generated with the coordinates of the last sampled frame. Notice that the proton has been fully transferred. Not bad. Now let's analyse the results. In the tree view, right-click the system header and select Import Data. Choose the format PKL Folder, PDynamo Trajectory, then select the output folder generated in the working directory as previously defined. Ensure that Easy Hybrid automatically recognize the generated log file upon folder selection. Assign a name of your choice to the imported trajectory and click Import. A new object with 15 frames will appear in the main tree view. To analyse the resulting energy profile, go to the main menu, click Analysis, and select PES Analysis. Easy, right? Subscribe to the channel and become part of the Easy Hybrid community. Explore the full potential of your systems with Easy Hybrid.